level. So here is my new 3D print, a soldering iron stand which really helps me in my projects.
So guys, my induction heating machine is finally complete. And this, what you see is a tile and this is a plastic piece. So tile is uh, like going to insulate the piece that is going to stay in here. And here what you see is a water bottle and the pump is attached to it. So this pump is going to circulate water through this copper coil to cool it down when this is functioning. Okay, let me show you. And here I have placed a 12 volts UPS battery and the pump is on. And circulating water through the coils and now you are already familiar with this power supply that I created in one of my previous videos so this power supply is what I'm going to use to power up my induction heater and that's the rectifier that I created in the video before the previous one although there is one problem the capacitor that I used is not able to handle the load properly and uh, this wire got so hot that the soldering got removed on itself so I'm going to remove this one and replace it with this one and uh, if I show you the rating it is 100 volts and 15,000 microfarad and a surge voltage of 125 volts DC and this one was only 50 volts with 5,000 microfarad so the capacitor has also been connected now it's time to do the test okay so now i'm going to turn on the machine so the machine is turned on so here as you can see the fans which are cooling down the mosfets and at present there is nothing inside plus i have not even started the water circulation because i'm not heating anything so let's do the no load current measurement so here as you can see the no load current is 5.35 uh, amperes so here I'm going to measure the voltage and uh, you can see it is 45.3 volts which is very good. 48 is the maximum so we are in range and not too low. So now I'm going to put this wrench inside the coil and let's see if it gets red hot. can see it's a red hot Now there is one problem, the fans are running at a really high speed and this area that you see it is open so the wind from this fan is coming over here and it is cooling down the piece that I am going to heat. So I should place some barrier over here to prevent the wind from moving from here to uh, this point. Mica sheet. So this is the Banggood's app and uh, this is the piece that we are using right now. Now here as you can see it's stating 40 amperes but in the description as you can see they are saying this test the maximum power is close to 1600 watts and the maximum current is 35 amperes so the heating ring inner diameter is 70 mm recommended crucible quad suits maximum support of 58 mm crucible. Here you can see, although this driving plate can withstand more than 40 amperes current, but it is recommended that not exceed 48 volts and 35 amperes to prevent accidents and damage. So for this reason, I'm using 35 amperes MCBs. Yeah. Here you see, graphite crucibles can also be used to melt metals such as gold, silver, copper, aluminum, etc. And the heating is uniform, fast and convenient. In this test, the maximum power is close to 1600 watts and the maximum current is 35 amperes. So let's test the crucible and see how much current it is drawing 
So here I have uh, the graphite crucible. Let's place it inside. At present the machine is off. There should be some space left in between the coil and the crucible. So the first thing is turn on the water supply. So it's on, now turning on the machine. And we already have the crucible over here. Setting the meter to current measurement mode. DC 600 amperes. Okay, go. So it's on. So here as you can see we are doing around 37.5 amperes which is very good and it is still not turned off and now there is no wind coming from here to this point and it is like heating at a really high speed. So now I'm going to heat this aluminum piece. So here I'm going to do the measurement for the temperature. As you can see that the crucible is almost red hot. Let's measure the temperature. Oh more than 400 degrees. 535. 600 degrees aluminum should melt at any point it's red hot let's turn off the lights here as well so the mcbs have tripped you can see that the crucible is so hot we were just about to melt the aluminum piece i think uh, the aluminum piece is like very fine it is very soft right now we'll turn on the lights oh you can see it's melting even though it is turned off it is still melting okay you see the aluminum is gone to grass you are very close to achieving the liquid state i think i'll have to do something about the mcbs they tripped off uh, when it was just about time So here as you can see I've connected the capacitors in series. So the capacitance is going to reduce from 7100 to around 3500 MFT and uh, the voltage is going to rise from 40 to 80. Let's try this one. Amperes as you can see are only 33. So this time the MCB should not go down. So finally, we have melted aluminum. Oh, it's liquid.